if you look at the enormity, you know, you open a prayer book, you don't know how to read Hebrew, you don't, you've never, you've never done it before, you don't, you haven't had that experience, it may be so intimidated that you abandon before you even started. So, in this case, I would say, don't put the bar so high that you can't reach it. So do a little bit. Do some reading before. There's some wonderful books. There are lots of books that are available, available to people as resources to prepare for the holidays. Now, different people have different internal landscapes and different, they're attracted to different types of, of, uh, of, of literature. So um, there is a whole variety that will, I'm sure, satisfy every person's, you know, different people's needs. So go to a Jewish website, go to a Jewish bookstore, look around, that, that get involved, get hands-on. And that's important. If you are in a place where there is a Jewish bookstore or you have access to some Jewish website where you can explore, you can open things up and see whether this speaks to you, it's much better. So then choose something to prepare, some couple of books to read. It's important to look at the prayer book in translation if you don't read Hebrew and look at certain sections. Some of the prayer books are annotated. Why? Because of the prayers, the language of the prayers for moderns who are not used to it could be problematic. There are some theological assumptions in the prayer book. There are gender issues. You know, God is always in the masculine. It may sound too patriarchal. It may sound that the theology is outdated. You don't have to be reading these things literally. And that's very important to know that the Mahzor is not necessarily, the Mahzor means the prayer book for the High Holidays or any type of prayer book is not necessarily meant to be read literally. So there are some wonderful prayer books that are annotated for people to be able to transcend the limitations or the seeming limitations of the text until you learn, until you learn how to transcend those barriers, right? And to, and to go beyond the limitations of language or gender or, or, or even the theology. So it's important for people to study the prayer book. There are courses that are given before the holidays. In many places they offer lectures or sessions or workshops. So between the book about the holidays and the prayer book itself with some annotations and some workshops or lectures or even some online things. I mean, there's so much online that people can avail themselves. Then, once you've examined some of these things, you still have to go through the experience of going to synagogue, right? So, it may be interesting to, if people find themselves in a place where there are a number of choices, to walk into different synagogues before the High Holidays, see where you like the music, where you like the people that you see around, right? That they are more congenial with you. Different synagogues have different characters. They're all great. But they're all great for the people who, who like that type of synagogue, that style, right? And so people should go in and out and explore different options and say, oh, I happen to like this and I felt most comfortable in here. You've chosen a place. And then you have to show up on the High Holidays. First of all, you have to call and see whether they have room. And hopefully they'll have room. And how, how uh, early do you have to get there? And, and so there's a lot of practical things to, to take into consideration. And then go there. Go and sit. Go and sit for an hour. If an hour is too much, sit for 45 minutes. Push yourself. That's the... Push yourself beyond your level of comfort because otherwise you're not going to achieve anything and you're not going to let the experience uh, take you where it needs to take you. So if after half an hour you're tired and you quit, you're not going to get much. But if you push yourself outside of your comfort level or beyond your comfort level, you may have a chance of achieving something. You know, sometimes it, it may be painful for, you know, after 45 minutes you're tired, l let another 15 minutes stay in there and maybe you've broken a barrier 
and then it, you can stay for for another hour and and see and let the experience don't try to be in control and to be critical and to be judgmental and to just let it go through you.